Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow till I finally prove it. Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving. Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact. Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track. Keep my head up, staying strong, always moving on. Feel I don't belong, tell my thoughts to move along. Push myself to be the best, die with no regrets, live with everything. See my message start to spread And I had so many dreams Then you hit your teens Life ain't really what it seems Try to find out what it means Always do it on my own So I gotta get through it And the only thing I know Is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow Till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's I just wanna keep moving Yeah, I put out all this art It's my only medicine, yeah Everything I do I'm just being genuine, yeah I'm sick of being screwed Feel my own Adrenaline, yeah, I do just what I do And I hope you let me in, let me in, yeah I'm grateful, oh yeah, able, oh yeah I'm stable, oh yeah, no label, oh yeah You know me, I have only a path I'm lonely, but damn, I'm I want the real stuff, everybody listen up Cause I'll only say it once I'm gonna show you all the path If you want it bad I'm gonna show you where it's at Yeah, how you can get it back Yeah, cause I ain't never done I'll be number one Working hella hard until I get just what I want Yeah, rise just like the sun Yeah, fatal like a gun Shooters gonna shoot and I'm gonna shoot until I fall yeah. Always do it on my own So I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow till I finally prove it. Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving. Yeah, I put out all this art, it's my only medicine. Yeah, everything I do, I'm just being genuine. Yeah, I'm sick of being screwed, feel my own adrenaline. Yeah, I do just what I do, and I hope you let me in, let me in, yeah.
Not right now. Hello, welcome. Or hola, as they say in Spanish, which is the language of love. It is I, your boy, yo soy, AC Weezy, AKA Dr. Love. Now, if you know a thing or two about Dr. Love, you know he's got a way with his words. He knows a thing or two about the bees and the birds, and he knows how to please where it purrs, if you know what I mean. All right, now. Episode five now. Cinco, if you will, of the Bumble Bachelor. Critically acclaimed as the number one dating show on Twitch. Listen, I don't, I don't make these ratings, right? It's you, it's the viewers at home. You guys make the show. I'm just here talking to a microphone. But without further ado, let me introduce tonight's bachelor. Mm. Arguably my favorite part of the show, just introducing this smart, handsome, incredible, incredible man. Now they say the average male is 5'9". This bachelor may only be 5'6", but it'll definitely show you where the rest of those three inches went. An avid fan of basketball, he puts the D into defense, and he knows how to get to the hole. Unlike McDonald's ice cream machine, his tongue is always working. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the one and only, the man goddamn, Mr. T. Hayes. Oh, 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 shit. No drop I wasted. I mean, yeah, you said about the, the McDonald's ice cream machine. I just had to show what I can do, you know, with what that tongue do is what the girls say mm. in the streets. I'm, I'm glad to see you're back on the uh, the vino train tonight oh. after switching it up. I'm drinking a red and I'm wearing red. All right. Hey, I'm joining you. You know what they say about Dr. Love T. The ladies, the ladies say he the best, cause he lets them have their way. Oh. His diamonds, VVS, and his grapes, Cabernet. Oh. All right now. You know what they call that? Bars. They, they call bars, you know, something light, something light here. Thursday night, thirsty Thursday, your boy Osoy, AC Weezy, the man, goddamn T Hayes. We're back, episode five. Listen, T. I have been having so much fun with this show, and I feel like each week it just it keeps getting better and better, better and better. My my man Meek Mill said there's levels to this, and mm. I feel like we're just escalating levels and levels and levels each week, better and better. Like you said, like I said from weeks prior, um, very excited. I got a text message from Austin earlier, about two hours ago, saying the committee has finalized its selections, mm. and I said Austin. How's it looking? And he says, it just keeps getting better and better, baby. Listen, I'll tell you what, if there's any uh, direct correlation between the time the committee puts in to prepping for the show and how good it is, we're in for a doozy tonight. Because I spent, I spent some time, I was very precise, articulate, no, that's not the word, meticulous. I think that's better. Okay. Yeah. That's better. We'll go with that. All right. Ms. now. Rebel would be proud of you, our seventh grade English teacher. Did I, did I have her? I don't know. I did. <laughs> seventh grade? When was Clark? That was like seventh or eighth, I think. That was ninth grade. Oh, fuck me. All right. That was a lifetime ago. Anyways, uh, Tyler, you want to just give him a quick uh, recap? Hit him with it one time, Dr. Lowe. All right. Let's see. I'm going to switch off full camera real quick. I, Does that mean I get the jazz? Yeah, I'll throw, oh, I'll throw no, you some no. jazz. I'll throw you some jazz. <laughs> My favorite part of the show. <laughs> I, wish I, I wish I could share audio with you. Like, just the audio. But unfortunately, through Skype, it's got to be the screen and the audio. And that just doesn't work when I'm trying to um, hide, the, hide the contestants' faces. Um, but with that being said, I'm going to pull up the previous four winners now, Tyler. There is number one, week number two, week number three. I can see your face lighting up already as I'm going down the list. 
And it's not because the screen's bright. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Uh, this. Nope, no. nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope. nope that nope. was a moist! This one, there we go. Right. Tyler's like, don't play with my, my boo like that. You know who it hey. is. Shawty, like a melody <laughs> in my head. Alright, here we go now. Bring Aww. it back full, full screen. Um, we got a few followers coming in. Liony, looks like MPB, my guy, Nasties. Ahaha. And. TJR003. That's not to get confused with 007 James Bond. This is TGR003. You know what they say about threes? What? The best come in threes, pairs of threes. I've never heard that before, but, you know, I haven't threesomes ain't the worst thing, you know? <laughs> was, you know. Okay, anyways, let's get back to the point. Let's get back to the point. Now we got him in order over here. All the way to the left, week number one's winner. To the right, week number two, and three, and four. What we think of Tyler? Is there a is there a clear cut favorite? Or? Right now going on, Austin, but I see a theme. Well, I I mean the only thing I see is two brunettes on the left and two blondes on the right. I'm not sure if that's what you were referring to, but that's exactly what I'm referring to. So tonight, I mean, what, uh, are we up for two uh, two redheads in a row now? Maybe. Redheads are my dark switch horses. It up. They're my kryptonite. <laughs> If I was Superman, <laughs> redheads would be my kryptonite. <laughs> Clan of the Duck checking in right as I said that. Let's get a redhead. We're on the same wavelength hey. tonight. Clan of the Duck, let's go. Dan's piping in here, says pairs of three, ha ha ha. And my guy Nasty, AC Weezy, love the plant. Where can I get one? Well, um, this is a one of one, Mr. Nasties, and I think I think you know where it came from. Um, but yeah. Hey, don't tell the police. No, you know I don't. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna snitch. No Takashi's in here, right? Um, so we're gonna we're gonna keep it on the down low. Just creep. Oh, okay, TLC reference, Tyler. We're we're flowing, we're going right now. Without further ado, let's not let's not keep the audience waiting any longer in suspense. Unfortunately, Tyler, I gotta stop uh, sharing the screen with you. Oh, I gotta man. stop the jazz. You're gonna have to look the at my beautiful face now. Uh, that's so now not so bad. Oh, actually, before, don't, Tyler, don't let me get ahead of myself. Um, for those of you that are new viewers, or if you just want a little refresher, uh, last week we introduced the Bumble Bachelor drinking game. So, yeah, Tyler, God. take a sip every time. Number one, they answer both to beaches or mountains. Wait, no, and what about lakes? <laughs> lakes, you got a fucking shotgun or something, because that's totally disregarding the question that was put in front of you and if y'all want to see me <laughs> spill a white claw over myself last week go to our youtube channel insane games tv austin said the funniest shit when the person <laughs> said lakes <laughs> what did i say i don't even remember oh. i just know i spit everywhere full of white claws i watched that back and i almost died a second time i'm gonna have to watch that again because i do remember that what i said i was I already laughing at and you spit up and um <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was good stuff. Yeah, the first four episodes on the Insane Games TV YouTube channel. Um, so with the drinking game, they answer both to beaches or mountains. Number one, two, picture with a dog. Three, picture in a bikini. Four, the Zodiac is Cancer, which Tyler's favorite. Um, Mark checking in. What's up, boys? What's going on, Mark? Clan of the Duck. We're gonna be drunk. You're not wrong there. You're not, <laughs> you're not wrong there. Listen, we could have gone with a lot of different things, Tyler. I think we could have... We could have added when they said Netflix to nightclubs or Netflix. If they said uh, sense active. of humor and yeah, active. Um, so we tried to keep it somewhat also, moderate. Austin, am I am I mistaken? This is Thirsty Thursday, is it not? Well, hey, well, it is. It is, Tyler. You are correct. But with that being said, now we will dive full force into contestant number one now. Uh, why is that over there? Over here? Thank you. Now, for those of you, again, if you're new, if you're... If you forgot, I'm distracted. <laughs> Nate's in the chat saying, I'm a cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Nate, well, luckily, you won't have to worry about trying to seal a date with The Bachelor tonight, so you're good. Um, Tyler is just, you know, he's a big Zodiac guy, and he's not compatible with them. Um, but with that being said, the rules tonight... I go through the 10 contestants, 
Tyler cannot see their pictures. I read their profile, right? Their bio, their interests. And he chooses four out of the 10 based on just their bio, no looks at all to go into the next round. Then I share my screen with Tyler. I show him just their first profile picture and he chooses four based on looks. And we'll see if he comes up with any from from both sides. So here we go, starting off contestant number one. As you can tell, Tyler did come prepared with his pen and notepad. He's not playing around, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. <laughs> I haven't decided if I like that yet. I was thinking, I haven't decided if I like that yet. I, I like his his dedication to it, but at the same time, he's taking all these notes like, okay, this person, blah, blah, blah. You know, she's wearing a Boston College shirt, and I already said, you know, she wor lives in, uh, I don't know. He's, he's sneaky. That's, we got to put it that way. <laughs> but anyways. Hey, when I want something, I go after it and get it. That is my best quality. Listen, I I think I'm I'm more so on the side of I love the dedication, so we're we're good. All, we're all good with that. So first contestant number one, she's an RN. Tyler um, right. went to Maria College. Not sure if I know where that is. I think it's in Albany. It's always on the radio stations. Mm. It's not to get confused with Maria. I'm drunk. A Travis Scott song. Um, now her about you section, 5'4", she is active, Tyler, undergrad degree, drinks socially, never smokes. I, I still don't know if she has dogs, likes dogs, it just has the dogs thing. Um, ooh, she's looking for something casual. Ooh. She wants uh. kids someday. She is a Virgo, a specified liberal, a Christian, and a registered voter. Austin, can we get the uh, Virgo... Virgo fist bump. <laughs> no, no, it's the Virgo up and then like over. <laughs> uh, I don't know what happened last week. Tyler was like, oh, Austin, fellow Virgo. And I went to like fist bump the air. But I don't know. So now Tyler likes to bag on me for it. All right. right. It's time to get Rightfully serious, so. Off. Rightfully so. Um, so yeah, Virgo. You So you are, Virgos are like mutual to you, right? It's not for or against. Right. Oh, sorry. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Me neither. Um, greatest travel story, being attacked by plankton in the Philippines. Now, Tyler, I just want to specify for the viewers at home, I don't think they're talking about plankton from SpongeBob. I think she means actual living plankton in the sea. Yeah, but I mean, I may not be no plankton, but I got a special ingredient for her. <laughs> Golly, he's coming with the one-liners tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, chicken and waffles, just subscribe. Wow, chicken and waffles, thank you very much for that. I appreciate you. Um, all the support is much greatly appreciated. Um, Tyler's got me all fucked up now <laughs> with his secret sauce. So yeah, just to confirm, we're talking about sea plankton, not uh, not uh, plankton from SpongeBob. So. All right, that's Tyler. That's an interesting travel story, right? I mean, fish lover, I guess, or the sea loves her. So. So that's good for you though, because you're a big ocean guy, right? Beach guy, maybe not open I mean, waters. Gonna, here's here's my thing. I'm really gonna if she has beach or mountains, and she says mountains, <laughs> I'm really gonna judge. Cause last week we had um, beach or mountains, and then she said mountains, and then she's like, no, but my favorite first ideal date is people watching on the beach like pick a side <laughs> pick a side man come on um so we just got some more picks i do see a dog tyler so maybe oh. confirm she has a dog does that mean a nice little selfie oh what's that mean austin Everybody drink up and the last pick tyler on the page is also a bikini so we're taking a nice little double sip here for you and I and the viewers at home. Now, obviously, it's a it's a gentleman's drinking game. I, Tyler and I are just expecting you guys to oblige and join along with us at home. Tonight, I am uh, drinking a Chronic, a red blend from Paso Robles, California, 2017. Lovely. Just lovely. Clan of the Duck, you can't people watch in the mountains. Very tough. Unless you have a fucking telescope and you're at the top of the mountain looking down on a nearby village, then you're correct. It's hard to people watch in the mountains. Drinking game is off to a strong start. 
I got a good feeling about tonight. And if I'm good. not if I'm not dead in my bed and ah fuck. <laughs> if I'm not dead in my bed, which is right over there Whoa. after this episode, I don't even want to play this drinking game anymore. That's also known as the boneyard. The boneyard, brother. <laughs> Alright, so that's contestant number one. That's it? Yep, not much there. Any so I mean anything jump I off mean, at how, you? How did that bikini pick look though? Um, well, I'm sure uh, Clan of the Duck will fill you in in a few seconds. I'll see how he wants to describe it. <laughs> um, <laughs> he says, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Um, wait, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Why is all oh, the graphics was uh, slow coming in? Oh, Nasty with the nurses are for the streets. Come on, Nasty. Oh, Especially with everything going on right now. Future, where does she belong? <laughs> Listen, N Nasty, if you if you sprain your ankle out on the golf course, you had a few too many uh, tweez, you might want a nurse at home to, to wrap up the ankle, put it in an ice bath or something, you know? Come on. Like I said, week two or week three. I mean, I got an, a bone that she can look at. My ankle. Okay. Okay, Tyler is known to have ankle problems, so that's what he was talking about, referring to. Uh, yeah. Northeastern seems like still in college. Um, like Queen said, just a small town girl, originally from New York, but currently living in the great city of Boston, and you may even find me cheering for the Red Sox nowadays. <laughs> Tyler, I, I'm gonna, I, I don't know how you feel about this. Like, that's fine if you like, eh. Whatever, like you can root for the hometown team if you're living in Boston. But if you're from New York, how are you gonna switch sides like that? If you're from New York, you have to either like the Mets or the Yankees. Typically, the Yankees. You can't just go to everybody that's in New York hates Boston, the Red Sox at least. You can't just switch sides like that. <laughs> I'm just realizing too. Clan of the Duck pointed out, well, dude, that's Journey that sings that song next to her. <laughs> right? Just a small town girl. Yo. Uh oh. Yo. Uh oh. Chat! Where does she belong? To the streets. In the, the note folder. folder. In the Let's note go. folder. <laughs> oh no. We gotta. You can't get a, a, a simple lyric like that correct? <laughs> but do you think. Okay, Tyler, do you think she was trying to be funny? I mean, like, there's no way you put that in your bio and you don't. There's no way that you put that in your bio, like, but <laughs> she did. She's also from New York, like, Sorets. Yeah. I don't need that mess. She's yeah. a hot mess. A lot, of, a lot of the chat is agreeing with you. Um, co Colifies, Colifies, we'll call, it, we'll call you Coca-Cola. Uh, not true. I think you. they were wow. ref referring to... Referring to not switching sides, I'm assuming. Nasty says Red Sox, question mark, next. Clan of the Duck, auto no. Axine just chimed in with a bunch of ha-has. So I think we got a lot of a lot of people, a lot of viewers on your side, Tyler. So we got our first no of the night. Early on, early on, number two. Hey, what's going what to the no folder? Uh, I don't know anymore, Tyler, because you, the last episode, you flip-flopped about ten times. <laughs> so, you were like, oh, we're being decisive. Oh, we're about not gonna... About being decisive. <laughs> I said it from episode one, I'm saying it till now. It's about being decisive. Chat, if he goes back on his word later in the episode, if, if he forgets and he, he then says, ah, hey, you know, I'm gonna keep an open mind about this one. Make sure we call him out on that. So, now, contestant number three. English language assistant at Spain. Well, Tyler, I'm not sure what your thoughts are on a long-distance relationship, but Wheaton College graduate. We got the bio over here saying, Fave things include traveling, cooking, going to concerts, doing art projects, and spending time outdoors. Big That's fan of... It's, it is a lot. That's a lot. She, this girl is definitely on the run, Tyler. She's uh, super busy. Big fan of people who are open-minded, adventurous, and creative. Bonus if you can hold a quality conversation. I've never had a complaint about my conversational skills, I must say. Um, 
definitely can hold a conversation. Now, am I holding a conversation over a Zoom call or am I holding a conversation face to face? She's over in Spain. Right. I mean, you're automatically set up for failure. I feel like if you're not in person, because like maybe the connection's right. off or you, you you can't pick up what on the vibes. A, or, I mean, it's thunderstorm uh, season in Tampa right now. What if there's a power outage? How am I supposed to? We get disconnected. Like she thinks I hung up on her. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to be using up all your long distance data on her, you know, if it's not Wi Fi, it's a bye guy, you know? Oh, I don't know if that makes sense, but I just said it and it rhymed. Um, TJR003, that's a pen pal at 4 a.m. Oh! <laughs> I think the 2020 version of that is a booty call. <laughs> Draw me a picture of you naked and <laughs> send it to me via USPS. Put uh, me all over your body and put it on a portrait for me. Oh my god! <laughs> every time, Tyler. Every time, every time Dan says something in the chat, and I'm like, "Yep, that's the most Dan thing he could say." He comes back and says an even more Dan thing. He says, "Can't reject someone who likes doing art projects." <laughs> I feel like that's Dan's like ideal Friday night, just doing some uh, paper sipping mache on, with with some apple coke. juice. Yeah. <laughs> Drawing a Jeff Gordon race car. <laughs> doing a model airplane or something. Come on, Dan. Uh, I love you, but it's a come on. We're on the fin. <laughs> <laughs> Golly. Um, <laughs> so keep going with the bio here. Five two, 157 centimeters for our European viewers, which you know she is European, so oh, you know, or lives in Spain. Undergrad degree, drinks socially, never smokes. Looking for a relationship. She is a specified liberal, a voter, and Tyler. She is a Pisces. Uh, Pisces. Pisces. Um, okay. Um, what makes a relationship great is not, not quite, not quite a uh, throat clear, but oh, okay. what makes a relationship great is communications times three. Tyler, I, I'm getting a weird vibe from her, right? She's saying someone who can hold a conversation. She's in Spain and she's saying the best quality is communication times three. So I feel like she maybe is, um, our guy who said that TJR 003, he's right. Is she, homegirl may be a pen pal. I mean, is she a, a translator or is she a mathematician? Cause where is she coming up with these, uh, these formulas for communication times three equals healthy relationship, you know? <laughs> uh, we got, we got officer nasties checking in definition of art. I'm not sure if this is Webster's <laughs> or Marion or whatnot, but he says definition of art. Who booty the canvas and your ding a ling the paintbrush. <laughs> Everyone needs a little nasty in their life, Scotty. <laughs> Coming out of the gate there, swinging. <laughs> Why is there white paint all over this white canvas? I don't know. Fuck it, hey, I, I, I'll paint your walls for you real quick, you know. See? <laughs> My walls are brown before you came up. Why are they white? <laughs> oh, you didn't get what I was saying. Oh. Oh, I think nasty's got oh, me. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Painting the uh, interior walls, <clears throat> if you will. <laughs> Alright, so we got another greatest travel story. All these girls like to travel, supposedly. We got a bunch of flat Stanleys just Spain. traveling the world. Huh? She lives in Spain. I hope she travels. Right, right. Um, greatest travel story. Accidentally ended up in Bosnia and got our entire car search for drugs. Yo, call Luka Donich, because uh, you're going to need to get out of jail. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what the hell? Uh, looking by her picture, they might have found some of said drugs. Moving on, got a little selfie. We'll get along if you listen to artists like Quinn, XCII, Avicii, that's a piece. AJR, Noah Khan, I think, Odeza, Kaigo, or Rainbow Kitten Surprise. Hit me up with some new music, please. Tyler, last week we had, what, Space, Space Jesus? Now we got Rainbow Kitten Surprise. Are we just too old? What's going Do we not drop enough acid? I don't know what the deal is. 
You know, I've realized in my short life of 25 years that typically these rave girls just don't, I just don't vibe with them. It's because they're just like, I, I wouldn't say they're too free spirited. It's just like, they're just too out there for me. You know? Yeah. I mean, I mean give me, all right. If she has a picture of her at a fucking festival right now, I will chug this whole bottle of wine right now. None? Nah, None? you're safe. We do have another bikini oh. pic, so oh. Oh. drink up, drink up. <laughs> no, we don't have a we don't have a rave picture. We have her next to um, something that I almost just gave away. But anyways, so favorite artists you could probably probably guess a few of these: Tyler Vici, George Ezra. She has Drake in there, Quinn XCII, Childish Gambino, Matt Kearney, John Mayer. So pretty diverse. You know, I wouldn't say I wouldn't label her as a specific festival goer if you will but i'm sure she's been to her fair share of bonnaroos or governor's balls i don't know that she's been out to to uh the big one in cali tyler the uh what am i gonna brain fart coachella coachella yeah. i wasn't in cali because your boy's got a big one <laughs> uh, i'm sorry <laughs> oh, i'm so nasty drugs are the devil <laughs> <laughs> you're right. You're right, nasties. Shame on you if you're doing drugs out here. Come on. Come on. Um. So that was number three. Nothing yet for number three, T. Nope. All right. Only one. Three down. One in the no folder. We're now on contestant number four. Quattro, if you will. Nothing. Nothing on the first page to give it away. Um. Second page, Tyler. F f five seven. She's five 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 seven. <laughs> five, five seven. Um, yeah. Um, works out. Works out sometimes. Undergrad degree. Drinks socially. Never smokes. Doesn't know yet what she's looking for. Wants kids. Some days. A Christian. A voter. And an Aries. Ooh, fellow Aries. Well, can you have two under the same roof? I don't know. Uh yeah. I mean, both fire signs, I will say, so... Burst into just flames. passionate, raw, anger. <laughs> well, passion and raw sound like two terms to relate to what I was going to say. You guys would have some wild sex in, in that bed. Can we show them the bed again real quick? The bed over there. Yep. It's not just for passing out when you're hammered, ladies and gentlemen. There is um, some magic... And no, no, not the gathering that happens over there. So, <laughs> but there are gatherings that happen. Well, Hello, hey, how you doing? Okay, you got me. You got me. Maybe it is, but <laughs> um, moving on. Nice little Sophie there. My oh, Tyler, I don't know how you're gonna feel about this one. Maybe your stance on it has changed. But my dream dinner guest is. You want to take a guess? Is it's okay? Scary. No, okay. One, one more time. What, what's uh, what's like a few that we've seen a lot? Seth Rogen? Nope. That was a recent one. Uh, Tom Brady. Oh, my God. So. <laughs> so so basically what that tells me is you're a fake football fan. Got it. <clears throat> I don't know. They just may, may be a Brady fanboy. Now, I, I love to see, like, if you so if you're this girl and, you know, maybe like Tyler's saying, you're not a huge football fan, Probably grew up in the New England area and, you know, Patriots, Brady. Do you follow now Brady to the Bucks, or are you still a Patriots fan? Are you more Brady or more, you know? <clears throat> well, I'm always a team player, so I would always root for the team. I always root for a player from afar, but I know none of these people are coming to Tampa to root for Brady. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I, I don't mean, know. I mean, whether a nice vacation spot... The Boneyards at uh, some place in Tampa. I mean, you can stop by any time of the week. So I'll send you the Addy. So. <laughs> oh, boys. Na Nasty's on a roll here tonight. 5'7", question mark. Who is this chick? Shrek? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, nope, nope, nope. Go Bills. Hey, All right. Bills over Pats any day of the week. Yeah, I, I agree with that statement. I quote too much from Mean Girls or Parks and Rec. At least it's not oh. like, yeah. At least it's not like Friends, you know, some basic. The Office. What do you office. have against Friends? What do you have against the Office? Too popular. I don't know. Uh, this is like everyone. You know, it's like the, it's like 
music or something that's cool and so everyone and their moms is like tweeting about it and fucking posting facebook statuses like their like their opinion matters on something but no i don't i don't hate them i just you know i have my favorites but mean girls parks and recs um another very similar yet not the same selfie if i could solve one world problem it'd be getting stupid drivers off the road i mean i feel like we could all agree with that though not the worst, but when you have things going on like cancer, AIDS, coronavirus, um, you know, erectile dysfunction. I don't know that getting stupid drivers off the road is in that tier, Tyler. Well, I mean, <clears throat> luckily for her, I don't have any of those, especially the latter. <laughs> I knew where that was going. I think everyone at home knew that was going. All right, so that was number four. Nothing yet, Tyler? Yeah, you're I, nay. You're, you're kind of neutral. I'm kind of neutral at the point. Um, I want to I wanna see my options at this point. I w like I said weeks prior, I am weeding out the ones that I definitely do not like, especially like number two. How are you going to quote a Journey song and put Queen? I. Yeah, that was... Honestly, I was, was just kind of going along and... That was a Slipped big right over my head. The, yeah, come on. It's like before you're putting that in your profile, you don't at least like fact check it. You know, go on, type in the lyrics on Google, type in small town girl song. It would be the first one. Um, so now, Tyler, contestant number five, a server at a brewing company. And this one you might find interesting. The Pennsylvania State University. Oh, she is a Nittany Lion, Tyler. Austin. Oh. Say <laughs> no more. Say less. That's all you had to do. You know where to put her. <laughs> you know where she belongs. In the yes folder. Yes, sir. Although, give 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 the viewers at home the rest of the. All right, don't say anything, but just show them everything else. Nah, because then, we'll, you know, if you don't choose her, we'll go through it, and it'll be a surprise of all of us at the same time, you know? All right, cool, cool, cool. So we have our first yes of the night. We now have one yes and one no. Three nothings yet. Moving on to contestant number six. Tyler, how are you feeling? I mean, that was just like... It was just meant to be. You're just that big of a, a diehard fan. It was like, if you go to that school, I, I automatically love you. Let's just say I haven't met a Penn State fan that I don't like. Very good logic. Very good logic. Can't argue with that. Contestant number... Yeah, what did I say? Seven? seven? Six. Uh, six. Six. Financial product analyst. Went to George Washington University. Is that, wait, is that free? Are those uh, the Masons? or? Yes. I don't know. Yes, okay. 2006 Final Four contestants? I don't know yes. how you say that. Analyst... Yeah, sure. Finalist, yeah, we'll go with that. Five six, active, undergrad degree, drinks socially, never smokes, does not have any dogs, does not know yet what she's looking for, wants kids someday. A liberal. Ooh. Um she's a Leo, a voter, and I don't know if this is the first of this kind, Tyler, but a specified atheist. Oh shit. <laughs> You might need to bring some holy water and have crosses hanging up if you're ever going on a date with this girl. I don't judge. Garlic unless, chain? Holy unless fuck. Unless you're a Satanist. That's the only time I would judge. Oh, okay. So atheist is like... It's like... Boop, 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 above a Satanist. Alright, <laughs> alright. All right. I gotcha. So, cause, yeah, Tyler is kind of in the undecided category on this. He could swing either way. So maybe if you end up with this girl... I mean, typically um, you would I'm check the atheist I am box. swinging either way, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about religion, y'all. Um, um, <clears throat> um, okay, moving on here. We got we got a pick in front of that bridge that we still don't know what the fuck London. it is. London Bridge. I one think... day I'm going to look it up. <laughs> one day, one day. Maybe by the, the finale. But she says, my go-to karaoke song is Where is the Love by Black Eyed Peas? Not bad. I, I, thinking of it, a, it's definitely not at a church nearby. No, well, I'm just thinking. I definitely can't picture that being like the best karaoke song. Or am I wrong in saying that? 
I mean, I feel like that's a song that you sing at like rallies, like peace rallies, like not at karaoke bars, you know? Well, isn't there like three different people collaborating on that? So it's like you, got you gotta Bernie, sing all. Th I am. The other two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the other two. Um, TGR. Let me get a link of that garlic chain. All right, I got you. So if I had an extra hour in the day, I would bake banana bread. Oh shit. <laughs> banana, banana bread at work. At work. Dude. Hell yeah. Bro, I love me some good banana bread, but I am a big fan of banana bread. I'm not gonna lie. But let me let me ask you, banana bread or zucchini bread? Oh, banana bread all day, every day. Ooh, I see. I disagree with you on that one, sir. Zu zucchini bread absolutely slaps. Chad, and you, you can't change my mind. Man, banana bread all day, every day. Chat, what do we got? Banana or zucchini? I don't even think I've had zucchini bread, nor do. Uh, no, well, how can you speak it? Hey, well, come on. It doesn't taste like a fucking zucchini. Oh, I'm sorry. You're putting a zucchini in bread. You think it tastes a little bit like zucchini. When you eat banana bread, does it taste like you're biting into a banana? Uh, yes, it does, actually. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck kind of ripe bananas you're using in your banana bread, but... The fucking most purest. <laughs> All right. Agree to disagree, I guess. I'm, I'm firm in my stance, but moving on here. My third grade teacher described me as most improved. Oh, always improving. That's a big thing. That's a big trait. You should always improve yourself. I'm hoping she means, you know, academically, and it's not like a weird old male third grade teacher that came up to her at the bar 20 years later and says, oh, you've improved. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty's on my side with the zucchini. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. Yeah, well, he's, he's a, a real one. Keto keto right now. Hey! Don't hate the... Keto! Nasty tell him. He's a keto bandito. <laughs> um, alright, that's that's it for the interest. We just got another picture. Oh. That's contestant number six. No any pick so far? No, not uh Again. no <clears throat> thirsty. I know, I know. Started off strong. I mean we had a bikini and a dog in one profile, and now we're kinda hitting a dry spell. Moving uh, right along here now, contestant number seven, Siete, if you will, emergency department at a healthcare provider. Okay, so ER. So I'm thinking she works in the ER at a hospital, right? Most likely. And not, um, not, not the same ER that's the shit, shitty hit series TV show ER. Chad, Chad, do you want to tell him? Or you, you want you want me to? Okay. Uh, five eight. Uh, five nine. Five nine. Five, oh five nine, my! Five oh, nine. that's a that's a. Mm. Uh. <clears throat> Chad, where does she belong? Oh, yeah. She okay. Belongs to the okay, that was a quick one. Yeah. Hopefully he doesn't regret Chad. I mean, even if I regret it, I'll have to stand on a fucking step ladder to get up to her. Hey, maybe worth it sometimes. That's even on, even Andre. Oh wait, no. Where was I going? <laughs> I was about to say, <laughs> even Andre slayed the giant. But I meant fucking even fucking oh, okay. Jack climbed the beanstalk. I think is what I was gonna say. I don't fucking know. Anyways, number seven going in the no for the bios. We now have two no's, one yes. Moving on to contestant number eight. Can she just put me in like a front carrying like baby satchel if she's gonna if I'm gonna date that chick if she's five nine, like just I'll just chill on her chest real quick. Well, I, I think just by the laws of intercourse, you would have to be on top if you're sixty nine. I think that's just a prerequisite. So yes, yes, I just had to think about that. You're correct. <laughs> Might not be bad though. You get like if you oh. got a you got a you got a box fan blowing behind you. You hit the gooch <laughs> area out a little bit. <laughs> that might not be the worst thing in the world, there, T. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, nasty. She looks like she got daddy issues. Throw the oh. legs over your head. <laughs> hey, uh, she might not be for me, but I am not afraid to help a friend out. I'll tell you that. Hey. He's ready to serve and protect over there. So now contestant number eight, Ocho, 
a consultant of some kind, uh, Bentley University. By five, Tyler, she is in the hit zone. She's also active, has an undergrad degree, drinks socially, never smokes, and is a Libra. Okay. Okay. We'll get along if you like to go to the gym and get a drink immediately after. Oh, I like both. Fucking double check right there. After work, you can find me by the water, the beach, the river, I don't care. Now, Tyler, I wouldn't classify this as indecisive because it wasn't like the beach or it's just mountains question. She, she said, was just, she said, speci yeah. Yeah, she said, I want to be by the water. And then she listed every single water source possible. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, doesn't matter. It could the be- The water, the peninsula, <laughs> the ocean, the lake, the river. If you, if you got a, a house that's kind of in a, in a valley and it rained a lot the night before and you got a little swamp in your front yard, she'll put up a, 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 a foldable chair and just, just chill out. Do some squats and have a nice margarita after. I mean... Mm. Yeah, can't go wrong with that. Ideal night out until the sun comes up. Oh. Oh. Chat, we better buy her stock now because she is trending... Upward. Hey, listen, I don't, I'm. <laughs> my name isn't Dow or Jones, but you know, I know a thing or two about my stocks. Uh, so that's it. We just got another picture, but. No dogs, know. no bikinis. No dogs, no bikinis. Well, I'll I, tell you what, Austin. I like what I heard. Put her in the yes folder. Woo! Numero dos. If it ain't an ocho. It's a no-go. But if it's a rojo, put it down my throat, ho. Oh! Uh oh! <laughs> All right. He was just going. There was no stopping that train. He nope. was already there. So now we have two yeses, two noes. Two yeses available. Moving on now to contestant number nine. Engineer, Tyler. Went to SUNY Polytech. She can do. Hey. You know she's smart. Shorty got that good brain. Oh. Hmm. Are we talking about education? Oh, yeah, well, yes, 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 of course. She's a graduate. <laughs> 315 to 518. I'm new. Come out here to chase my career aspirations. So she's a go getter. Oh. I'm an old soul, sophisticated and balanced. If you're looking for a hookup without conversation, don't bother swiping right. 5-3 in the hit zone. Almost never works out, Tyler. Undergrad degree. Drink socially. Smoke socially. I, we, still don't, we still don't know. We're thinking that there should be a pot leaf next to that if it's meaning um, THC. But I don't know. Likes cats. Uh, <laughs> doesn't know yet. Doesn't want kids. Gemini, liberal. Oh, another atheist. I'm just gonna drink because we have two atheists and one show, and we have yet to have one in the previous four episodes. I'll drink with you, brother. Thank you, cheers. I almost just spilled going from sip to cheers, but. This one's a roller coaster, might I add. She's smart, old soul, but she's an atheist. She likes she cats. Witchcraft, she likes uh, petting cats. She made um, fucking. Uh, Take some of your hair when you're sleeping and fucking put on a voodoo doll. I don't know. She might uh, let a rocket go off and we ain't talking about Elon Musk's. <clears throat> Not quite sure what he meant by that, but... I mean, she's a crazy <laughs> Gemini. I mean, they <laughs> yeah, they get a little crazy. So nothing yet? You want to keep going? Yeah, let's keep going. Okay. What makes a relationship great is communication, loyalty, trust. I feel like that's I, almost as common as live, laugh, love. Yeah, I was just about to say, if I haven't seen that on a coaster somewhere, I don't... I mean, I think I went to Home Goods yesterday and saw that on a coaster. <clears throat> so this is interesting. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. If I could donate a million dollars, it'd be to help find the missing. That's interesting. I, I don't even think... I didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, like... I mean, you know, Tyler, obviously statistics after 
48 hours of a missing person. So I, I, I don't know. I'm just saying, did they get abducted by aliens? Is this an alien abduction fund? I have no idea. Or like you pre-mentioned witches? <clears throat> I, I don't know. Said. He said what he said. I said what I said. Tyler, this chick, if was if she wasn't already on a roller coaster, she already said she's an atheist. Now she says the world would be a better place with more empathy. Mm. That to, to me, those two don't match up. An empathetic atheist? <laughs> Sounds like she doesn't know what she wants. Sounds like she might have... I got split personalities. <laughs> <laughs> um, so she, she definitely graduated. Another picture here. Nasty says she's basic. Next. I don't know. She, she's interesting. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but... He's thinking hard. <laughs> Let's go to the next one real quick. I need to, to... There's no dogs or no bikinis, obviously, correct? Uh... Austin has, By the way, no. we're nine through, and Austin has, has yet to have a grape get stuck through his throat. I... Yeah, I don't want to give them all away to you. Maybe uh, it's by plan, you know, but... Oh, well. Tyler's getting a little nervous over there. Getting a little nervous. He's trying to keep his options open, if you can't tell. So now, our next and final contestant, contestant number 10, on the left for the viewers at home. RIT graduate, so she's also smart. 411, definitely in the hit zone. She is active, undergrad degree, drinks socially, never smokes. Lots of dogs. Still don't know what to make of that. Don't know yet what she's looking for, wants kids someday. Moderate political views and a Pisces. So not bad so far in the bio, right, Tyler? Yeah. <clears throat> Next one's just a couple pictures. Nice sense of swag. Good, uh, good aesthetic vibe to her. Another blurry picture. If you, if, if that's like the fourth best picture you have, then I, I don't know. But so here we go, Tyler. Nightclub or Netflix? Why not both? I mean, oh, 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 ah. golly, he's going, going all the way, Tyler, Tyler, what the fuck is going on tonight, my secret skill, banana bread, oh shit, banana bread, we got, we got two atheists and two banana breads, I, I don't know what the hell is going I on think, anymore, I think we should drink to that, no, oh, well, shit, I'm just, I'm just drinking in hey. general, but you know, it's like, you. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Ah, uh, banana bread, okay. So that's it. That's it for all of them. We have two yeses, two noes. Now we're going to do a quick speed round back through the contestants. So going back to contestant number one, she is a registered nurse. Went to Maria College, 5'4", 163 centimeters for our European viewers. Active undergrad Wait. degree. Excuse me? I said oi for our U European Oi, viewers. okay, you messed up my flow there. Uh, drink social, never smokes, dog, something casual, once gets someday, Virgo. Liberal Christian, Christian and a voter. Um, she got attacked by Plankton. Confirmed the sea creatures, not Plankton from Spongebob. Um, she did have a bikini pick, so we drank to that. Um, okay. Contestant number three. Um, English language assistant. She lives in Spain, Tyler. Wheaton College. She likes adventures, being outdoors. 5'2", undergrad degree, drinks socially. She's a Pisces, liberal, and a voter. Never smokes. She really likes communication. Times three, in fact. Her greatest travel story accidentally ended up in Bosnia and got the entire car search <coughs> for drugs. Um, she likes a lot of EDM music artists, as well as Drake and uh, Childish Gambino. Mm. That was contestant number three. Contestant number four. This is our 5-7. Works out sometimes. Drinks socially, never smokes. Doesn't know what she's looking for. Wants kids some days. Aries. Christian, registered voter. Dream dinner guest is Tom Brady. Quotes too much from Mean Girls or Parks and Rec. 
If she could solve one world problem, it'd be getting stupid drivers off the road. Contestant, that was contestant number four. Now back to number six. Financial product analyst at Bloomberg, George Washington University, 5'6", active undergrad degree, drinks socially, never smokes. No dogs, doesn't know yet what she's looking for, wants kids. Someday, Leo, liberal, atheist, and a voter. She has been to the London Bridge, Tyler. Her go-to karaoke song is Where's the Love by the Black Eyed Peas. If she had an extra hour in the day, she would bake banana bread. Her third grade teacher will describe her as most improved. Again, that is contestant number six, Sace. Now, moving on to number nine, Nueve. Going back to our engineer, who does not know what the fuck she's looking for. 5'3", <laughs> almost never works out on a grad degree. Drinks socially, smokes socially, likes cats, doesn't want kids. Gemini, liberal, atheist. What makes a relationship great, in her opinion, is communication, loyalty, and trust. If she could donate a million dollars, it'd be to help find the missing. And the world would be a better place with more empathy. What do you think, Tyler? You gonna do number 10 or no? Oh, I forgot number 10. All right, I'm getting ahead of myself here. This is our <laughs> RIT graduate. She is 4'11". She is active, undergrad degree, drinks socially, never smokes, lots of dogs, doesn't know yet what she's looking for, wants kids, someday. Pisces, moderate political views. When asked about nightclub or Netflix, why not both? And her secret skill is banana bread. Now, Tyler, I just want to point out, I'm not sure if that means making banana bread, crumbling it all over her body for you t to uh, to lick up. I, I, I She just says banana bread, so I'm not sure about that. I mean, either or, I'm down for both. Uh, but Austin, I let you run through them. I made bad decisions. Let's I'm go. Gonna go th I'm gonna go to the, the, the no folder first. Okay. Number three. Put her in the no folder. I'll tell you why. She's Adios, a drug number three. Oh, she whoa. lives in Spain. <laughs> I'm not looking for long distance. My my strongest my what is what is the um thing called? It's uh fuck the five love languages. Mine yep. is physical touch. I can't physically touch you across fifteen thousand miles away. That's an exaggeration. <laughs> um, number four. Put her in the no folder. Oh. Basic bitch, Tom Brady, loving bit. Also five seven out of the hit zone. <laughs> out of the hit zone. Uh, I think referring to our last, which was number four. Oh wait, no, who? No, number three, right? Number three and four. Yeah, I think referring to number three, Axine says poor choice. Hmm. So we'll see. Um, so then put number four. Now that leaves four contestants still, Tyler, for two spots. Uh, number nine. Okay. Put her in the no folder. Oh, why is Doesn't that? Doesn't work out. That's a big one. <clears throat> I can't be grinding in the gym five days a week while you're just sitting at home. Making, was she the one that, no, she didn't even make nanner bread. If you're sitting at <laughs> home, at least make nanner bread. Come on, baby. This is a little bit of nanner bread. Tyler comes home from the gym, all, got his pump on, he just wants some nanner bread. <laughs> Last one, number ten. Uh, yes. Put her in the no folder. Oh boy. Only sole reason I don't fuck with Pisces. Ooh. Tyler no likeies the Pisces. Mm. That leaves number one and number six into the yes for the bio section. Now Tyler, let's come to the part in the show where we're doing. We just did the uh, the interest, right? The similarities, the bios. Now we're, we're doing the looks. I'm gonna share the screen with you. I'm gonna pull up these pics. And I'm also gonna share this nice soothing jazz music with you. So here you go, tell me when you got me. Oh, that must be the lady that likes all the water sources. <laughs> yeah, it, it doesn't matter. It's just a fucking puddle. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not saying anything. That's what I'm saying, chat. Tyler's already, like, likes water. So he's looking. Now this lady is in front of a thing of water I mean, and he's associating. Just like my jump shot, it's wet out here, baby. All right. 
So what, anything? I mean, she's got some nice eyes, right? Strong hair with the braids. I mean, it looks like... Nothing jumping off at you. She's like, she's like, look back at it. <laughs> Wanna go to the next one? Yes. Here we go. Um, drinks up. <laughs> All right, let me, let me take out my uh, measuring tape right here real quick. She's long. <laughs> <laughs> Dem legs could could grab something on the top shelf at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> hey babe, I can't reach the corn on the top shelf. Can you get it for me? <laughs> no problem. <laughs> what is uh that Family Guy legs go all the way up, Griffin? You ever seen that? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Takes off the skirt, it's just legs think, to the face. But... I think this this girl could literally play in the WNBA right now. No love for the body, though? You just focus on the how long it is? I mean, am I not focused on the body if she's, like, dumb fucking long? She's like a daddy long leg right now. You're more focused on the length than the curves, I'd say, but all right. What Moving curves, on. Austin? I don't know. I don't know. Moving on to number three here. All black, tanned skin. Nice smile. I don't know. I cannot confirm nor deny if she was the one that littered that vitamin water bottle next to her feet. <laughs> In a forest by... God damn it. Not much. Not much to go off of. I can't tell if she's squinting out of her other eye. <laughs> so here we go. Next contestant. Next to uh, another body of water. This time it looks like it is indeed an ocean. It's definitely not a lake, I'll tell you that. No, I would that'd be a, a very large lake, I'd have to say. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Looks good in a crop top. I mean like 70s vibes to the max right here. She's wearing all blue too. Pick another color, like white sandals, maybe blue, maybe something else on top. I mean is blue she phone to case. Blend? Is she blue trying bracelet. to blend is she trying to blend in with the water right here? <laughs> I think so. Um, you know, if uh, her go-to karaoke song might be I'm blue, da ba dee da ba da If I was blue, da ba Okay. Whole lot of blue-ish. So here we go, interesting. Oh, tall boys, baby. <laughs> you think you maybe can drink? Maybe be my Corona when I'm... Mm. Shout out Shwayze. Do you think you could out-chug her? Or oh. do you... <laughs> I'd hope she could out-chug me, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh. I think we're talking Gluck Lucks, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're talking like Gluck Lucks. That's like Gluck Luck 5000, baby. <laughs> I think she just like opens up her lips and just puts it around the top of the head and just tilts her head back. And then, and then she takes a, she takes both limes out. You're like, what the fuck is she doing? And then she puts her mouth around the whole entire lid and chugs it and then puts the limes through her mouth. <laughs> she just fucking puts it on her eyeballs. Uh, so I mean, likes is to she drink. Is she, okay, go back. Is she also blending with that seat that's behind her with her jacket? Like, oh no, that's a jacket behind. No, her. that's a that's the other person's jacket. Yeah. So it's if, like you Army, if you can't tell, if you can't tell, Tyler's very analytical. Is army green like a huge color in this area? Must be, must be. Moving on here. Um, Tyler, I know your name isn't Ken, but I think we got ourselves a Barbie. Yeah, but oh, don't call me baby. I was reading that backwards. I was. <laughs> I thought that said, don't call me daddy with one D. I was like, wait, what? Who the fuck is daddy? <laughs> <laughs> I might be off the chronic and I'm seeing double, but I was like, that's not how you spell daddy. Um, remember what Officer Nasty says, drugs are for the devil. And he also just chimed in by saying, I thought this was a PG show. Now Nasty's the, uh, the dialogue may not be PG, but there will be... Confirm no nudity. You have to go to a different website for that. But what do you think, Tyler? I mean, attractive, right? Or nah. maybe, really? Okay. Nah. nah. So no one's really jumped off I, at you. I feel like this this girl is like, can I speak to your manager type vibes? Like, yo, I want my steak medium well. You gave me it well. Done. You know, like, give me a new steak. You know. 
But is it worth it? Usually, most of the time, no. Unless you, unless you want to give up the, the dominance in the relationship, by all means. Hey, listen, I, I'm not above much, you know? It's like, you want to wear the necklace? pants, I'll walk around naked. What? What's, oh my god, what does her <laughs> necklace say? I can't even read that. Cursive is like a foreign language to me right now. Could be her name, which I don't even know what it is, but moving Sean? along here. Holy moly. Ah. <laughs> Holy moly, mamma mia! That's a fine senorita. Oh, hey! Big Latino vibes here. Yes. Um, what contestant is this? What number are we on? I'm so lost right well, now. Well, they're not. She's not gonna be associated with the bio. I get that, but like, what? I think it were like, I don't know, seven or seven. I think. Eight, nine, ten. Yes. Yeah, so, 10, 9, 8, 7, yep. Just put her in the S folder. Okay. I'm sure, she, I'm sure she's one I nexted in the, the bios. Why? That's just the way it works, baby. That's just the way it is. Things will never be the same. So she's going into the no for the pictures. Moving on here. I can fuck with this <clears> jazz <throat> heavy. Oh, the jazz is wonderful. No. No? Just no. Alright. Not a fan of the, the nope, curves, just, I guess. Just no. So two back to back now. Wait, the... no, I said... I said yes to the other one. No to this one. Correct, correct, correct. I put, actually, I put her in the no, so she's going yeah, into so the yes, yes thank you. for the picks. This one's going into no little picks. So one one for each here. Hopefully, Tyler's making the right choice. I'm just going to go rapid fire at this point. Now, this is number nine, I believe. Looks like she's in a kitchen of some sort with the sunglasses on. Is she <laughs> the one that's making nanner bread or no? Is she one of the two nanner breads? I don't know. <laughs> a lot of grain in this picture. More grain in this picture than in a fucking silo. More grain in this picture than what should be in Golly. my nana bread. Oh! I don't know what nana bread you're eating over here, but I don't think they put grain in it. I mean, I hope so, because bread has grain in it, so... Unless you don't know the anatomy of bread, my guy. But I think it's, like, chemically mutated to become gluten. It, like, starts <laughs> as grain, and then it... <laughs> Just stop. <laughs> Alright. Go to the next one. Next and final. <clears throat> okay. Start from the beginning. I'm just gonna rapid fire it. I gotta I gotta hide the screen though, so I can go back and forth. Looks like she travels, probably lives in Spain. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy, man. <laughs> Um, uh, fuck! Shit. Go to the next one real quick. Alright, Daddy Long Legs definitely- No, no, no. Daddy Long Legs definitely no. I'm okay. gonna have to climb a tree like Johnny Appleseed over here. <laughs> no to Daddy Long Legs. Litterer. <laughs> Loiterer. Loiterer. Go to the next one real quick. Definitely no on that one. I mean, like- No on blue? Have some fashion. You my boy, blue! <laughs> Alright, so no on blue. Yes on this one, I like this one. This yes one on this one, alright, alright. Double fist and triple fist and actually. Triple fist and triple. <laughs> this one's just staring me at the soul right now. It's like asking me for my 401k, so I'm gonna have to go no on this one. Oh, okay. Another no. How many do we have right now? We got two yeses, so we got two more yeses available. Go to the next one real quick. Alright, she's definitely short as fuck, because <laughs> the person next to her looks like she's like six foot four. Um <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to say no on her. Okay. I need to fuck. 
<laughs> Jeez, it's kind of a botched week over here. Clan of the Duck, I know, I know you can't see them right now. It's because I'm like on my desktop. I can't have it full screen so then you guys can see everything, but don't worry, don't worry. We'll be back. What's that? Uh, I'm still on the note one right here. Okay. Um, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. That, that on our last three here. Uh, okay. We'll go yes with her. Okay. Even though her shit's grainy as my banana bread. <laughs> uh. <laughs> um, and we're, we're gonna go yes with the first one. This one? Yes. Okay. Man, this was tough, man. In a good way or in a bad way or just tough in general? I'm not gonna say bad because I don't want to get me too'd, but yeah, it was <laughs> tough in general. Alright, I gotta stop sharing the screen with you. So unfortunately, there goes the jazz. So let me compile my numbers and facts and analytics here. All right, we have reached a verdict. Survey says. Chat, what do we think? How many, if any at all, did Tyler pick from both categories? Tyler, what do you honestly, think? Honestly, I can't even. I honestly don't even think I hit a single one. Really, you don't think you got any between two? Honestly, right, so I don't even. Well, <laughs> I don't even think I hit a single one, my guy. This week was probably the toughest week for me. All right, all right. So now I'm gonna share the screen back with you, and the jazz. Tyler says none. Clan of the Duck says maybe one. Axeen says two. Well, got to give it to Axeen. There were two, Tyler, that you chose from both categories. So now, as we always do, we're going to get into our losers, if you will. These are the eight contestants that Tyler maybe chose for bio, but not picks. Picks, but not bio, or neither. So here we go. I think you chose... Hmm. I think you didn't choose her for either. Is this the Red Sox fan? Um, this is the Northeastern, yes. Yep, I'm so glad. <laughs> From New York, uh, Red Sox a fan. Capricorn, you didn't even mention that. Oh, I had to have, come on. Nope. Nasty says two, I'm not sure if he said two after I already said two or not, but correct, Nasty, <laughs> it was two. Um, we do have a bikini pick. This, she really likes blue, oh, don't. Don't stop me now by Queen. Clint, Clint the Duck. Is that actually by Queen? I have no idea. That is by Queen. What? That's not Don't Stop Believing. Don't Stop Me Now. Don't Stop Me Just a small town girl. Because I'm having a good time. I have no idea. Don't stop me now. Because um, a good time. Having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> um, looks like uh, she might not be able to pass through some metal detectors at the airport. If nasty, if nasty was still at TSA, he would have said, "Uh, it's a no." And might I point out that bot, the bottoms are very low cut in the front, Tyler. <laughs> He's having a little, uh, <laughs> a little second thought here. Moving on, nice little selfie. If I could be, so we didn't get to the rest of this profile because you said no after the. <laughs> you think you said you think this should have been the first one anything but the first picture should have been the first one she said just a small town girl go to the first one ah <laughs> um, no no next one next one first one first one wait what the first picture I'm blue oh so if I could be a guest star yeah, this is a good this is a good selfie. It looks all natural. Like, yeah, I don't know. 
But guess show would be, uh, does Jeopardy count? Yeah, I think so. Another bikini pick. She doubled down on the bikini, so... How you feeling after a no from this one, Tyler? Kinda stings, I'm not gonna lie, but... <laughs> if you don't know Journey, then don't be knocking on my door. Uh, I knew Big this facts. Was Spain. Big I facts. Knew this was Spain. I knew Tyler it was Spain. Tyler called it. This was the Spain. Even though F, when he saw the first picture, he's like, oh, she's by a, a body of water. I said, it looks like she traveled. Fuck me for knowing. I gotta refill the vino. English language assistant as Spain. Like Spain University? No, Spain just. Soccer club? She's just like a freelance, like goes around and teaches Every people. Place in Spain? Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, so she likes traveling, cooking, concerts. This was the Pisces five two. This was the one I had a little, a little, <laughs> a little problem <laughs> in my throat. A little mini. <laughs> I don't know that. I mean, she she lives in Spain. She but that scarf is like French as hell. I mean. That scarf, she would, they have the running of the bulls in Spain. That would be a fucking thing that she would take off her neck and just be like, Toro, Toro, Toro. Tell her, I don't know if, if I would want her to uh, blindfold me with that or just choke me with it straight up. But either way, it's very versatile. Everyone needs a nice little scarf at their and disposal. And two chains. Two chains. Nice, nice blue eyes, Tyler. You gonna sing it or should I? Those ocean eyes. I'm scared. Okay. So she loves her communication. Um, so here we go. This was the Bosnia. Ripping a, ripping a J with the coffee. Big fan of Wake and Bake. Tyler's like, fuck me. Could have ripped a little Wake and Bake. Had some, some morning sex, maybe. Watch the running of the bulls from your Spaniard condo. <laughs> he, he seems a little speechless now, ladies and gentlemen. And she's rocking a Roner? God damn it. I might have messed up on this one. Did you pick her for either? No, you didn't. Yeah, I picked her for Lux. Did you? Okay. I don't know. Might have dropped the ball on that one. We shall see. Use the fucking second picture! <laughs> Come on! Oh. God damn it. I feel like I'm being sabotaged right now. So here we go. Five nine, Daddy Long Legs. <laughs> Daddy Long Legs, which um, why is the graphic on the OBS not loading up? Here we go. This bitch would walk over me. I would go through her her legs. Listen, like, Tyler. I wouldn't have to do the limbo to go through her legs. I'd just be like, pum ba dum ba dum ba dum. <laughs> Top of your hair would just tickle her clit a little bit. <laughs> How does that feel? <laughs> um, <laughs> Go a little faster, okay? I'm gonna run back and forth, do some suicides. <laughs> there you go, get a workout in. It's a good workout while pleasing your girl. Oh man, nasty with the that's my boy reference. Pot smoking bum! <laughs> I think he's talking about the last one. But here we go, Daddy Long Legs. Listen, scary but not harmful. This was this was five seven Tyler, not five nine. So those legs are just on on Next extendo. Days. Legs are on extendo. Cute little selfie here, Tyler. Do you think she should have used this as her main picture? Nope. <laughs> okay. Um, this was the Tom Brady dinner guest. Oh God. Another little selfie, getting drivers off the road. Nope. No no regret about this one. I mean. Yeah, the first picture is fire, and she used it to her advantage. But like, <laughs> she knows how to play the game. As as a fellow Aries. So Tyler, here we go. Oh, God damn it! This was one that you you uh, next pretty quickly on the looks, but this is also one that you put forward pretty quickly from the bio. This is our our Penn State attendee, a Nittany Lion. She's also five eight though, Tyler. Which hey, Virgo. You, <laughs> and a Virgo, which we didn't even get into because Tyler just blacked out when he heard Penn State. So you kind of got saved here with the 5'8". She's a Virgo, doesn't smoke. 
Um, interesting little picture here. Nightclub or Netflix? She said nightclub. All right, that girl. Okay, go back. That girl on the left should never do that again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go for She's not even doing it. She just shoved her whole pinky in her. Like the other chick is like. She's shoving a pink and a blanket down her fucking throat right there. <laughs> <laughs> Tucking a fucking nicotine pouch in her back lip or something, but here we go at the what? What is their stadium Happy called? Valley. Um, it's just like Beaver Stadium. That's what it's called. All right. So greatest <laughs> travel story. That's the only Beaver Stadium I'm going to. Hello, hi. Don't. By golly, ladies and gentlemen, I don't even need to say what he was talking about. We all know it. Greatest travel story: California, 15 days. Round trip ticket, no plan whatsoever, equals best trip ever. That's cool, spontaneous. If I could have a superpower, it'd be flying. A little mirror selfie here. I don't know that we still did those. Um, large feet. Golly, that we might have a certified Bigfoot on our hands over here. Yo, um, <laughs> what are those? <laughs> if she kicked me straight in the face... They would wrap around my fucking head. <laughs> Bro, if She'd I put... Like, rip my forehead. If I put my fucking foot up next to hers, it'd look like an infant. Like, they're, <laughs> they're stamping it on the birth certificate. <laughs> Golly. Oh, my God. All right. how, how fucking long are those things? <laughs> Man, I, I think should... that's, that's as big as my torso. Golly. I mean, if, 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 if you get the ball stuck behind in the backboard of the hoop, she's just got to fucking pick her foot up and, and knock it out. Uh, oh, man. All right. You know what? I have met a Penn State fan that I haven't liked. <laughs> there you go. Nasty is saying, Beaver! Clan of the Duck saying, do not disturb the local wildlife. I'm thinking he's talking about your, your beaver endeavors, Tyler. Um, so here we go. This was um, the Litterer Financial Product Litter! Analyst. G G-Dub University, 5'6". She was an atheist, a Leo once kid someday. There's the London Bridge. This was the Black Eyed Peas. Doesn't look bad in a white dress, Tyler. This was one of the banana He's not breads. First. Like, nah. Yeah, but I feel like I feel like if you crop out the rest oh, and it's zoomed in. Last picture. Use that picture. This no, one? no, that next that picture. So you think better. that one's better than this? At least it's I'm not seeing a fucking water bottle on the ground. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like I mean kinda I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be mean, but it kinda looks like She's like squinting at it for like almost she, like she has a fake eye. Like I can't tell. Covering her eyes like. <laughs> not confirmed fake eye for this contestant who did not make it. But third, this was the most improved. This was probably the best picture. No. You don't think so? On the left? Nope. Oh. I think the second picture was the best, best picture. Most deceiving. <laughs> She's a traveler. Fashion. Go to, go to that picture so I can analyze it a little bit. Since she's a financial product analysis, I'm financially analyzing this product right here. No, the, the last picture. This one? No, yes, that one. He's go on a delay. Me. And go every time he's, he says nice the last abs, picture. Nice thighs, good fashion dress, black and white. You know, a nice contrast with the, with the background. I mean, think about it. Think about it. Hey, think about it. That's all he's saying, sweetheart. So this was another no that Tyler has no regrets. I really about. like shoes though. Where'd she get them from? Yeah, don't you have the same pair? Oh yeah. <laughs> Many colors too. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> so here we go. This was our emergency department. This was Daddy Long Legs right here, five nine from the nine nine. Um this yes was indeed Miss Five Nine from the the fine wine. Yeah, Libra. Um, <clears throat> looks good in pink. Amy Winehouse. That tells me that you have uh... daddy issues. Oh. What? What? Uh, what do you? What do you mean by that? Just because she was kind of a little edgy? Or... I said what I said. I said what I said. I'm done. Oh, listen. Well, you know, rest in peace. But dream dinner guest. Uh, Can't have dinner with her unless you're in heaven. You ready to move on, Tyler? <clears throat> You, you ready? 
to uh, are you ready to, to move on uh, just one more time for good measure <laughs> so she's not worth the stepladder is what you're saying Cause if I was you, I, I'd fucking put on a jetpack and beam me up, Scotty. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Got a blast. Got a blast. Honestly, huh? that first use that as your first picture. God damn it! What the hell? She's trying that to look. That first picture, she was beaming me through my soul. She's trying to look wholesome, bro. She doesn't want to no, look like. That first picture, she was like, "Give me your 401k from Wells Fargo. I'm gonna take a million dollars real quick. <laughs> Spend it on my titties." <laughs> Nasty said, you blew it. I knew this would be Nasty's favorite. Your, boy, your girl needs a boob job. Give me that fucking savings account. I could definitely hear her saying that. Thank but you. But whatever. Hey. hey. <laughs> the committee, the committee's single as well, so. She might be working in the ER, but. So Tyler, this is another one that you chose for looks. You did not choose for bio. You upset about this one? Yes, because she doesn't work out. What the fuck? She almost never works out. Almost never. So this was our... This was our... <clears throat> engineer. Right? Atheist. Cats. Gemini. What did you like about her bio? Doesn't work out. That's literally all I didn't like. No, this one says almost never. Well, okay. There, there wasn't one that said never. This was, that the, was the one. No, this was the one. Gotcha. I mean, she's. I mean, she looks like she's in good shape, on the right here. I mean, traps <laughs> for days on that picture. Oh, pff, golly, I mean, she might be able to shrug more than I can. Communication, a little selfie here. Help find the missing. That one put me for uh, in a spin cycle. Why not use that? Why not use what? Why not use that one as your first? <laughs> Athletic? That's why you don't have to work out. Beautiful. Fuck yeah, what it. the fuck? She plays. She played a college sport and she almost never works out. Like, what's the... an anomaly right here? I'm so confused right now. Is that her brother? Maybe a uh, brother or uh, cousin. step cousin or. Uh, step brother. It's her financial advisor. I don't know. But another no. All right, I'm not gonna lie. Um, that was a hit and miss right there, folks. That was a sneaky. That was a sneaky miss. Yeah, th that that first picture, Tyler, incredibly misleading. But that's either here nor there. Now, Tyler, our last no of the night. I just don't understand how <clears throat> you almost never work out, but you play a collegiate sport. Like you're working out every single day. Maybe she just had enough. I don't know. So are those updated pictures at that point then? IDK. Tyler, IDK, but here it is. RIT, as you guessed, probably 411 active undergrad degree. Socially wants kids someday. Lots of dogs, a Pisces, and a moderate political view. I believe I commented on her sense of style. Pretty cool vibe. Or are we in a fucking stethoscope right here or what? Uh, I don't know, but pop a couple nah, what, ecstasy what's pills. What's that thing that's called? That kaleidoscope. Like kaleidoscope, that's it. Yeah, stethoscope, uh, stethoscope. is uh, doctors. Check my heartbeat because <laughs> I'm going through a fucking stethoscope right now. I need one because my heart's beating looking at this. This was the picture where I was like, you can't find like out of like your top four pictures in your phone. <laughs> I, I no words here, but this is the why not both nightclub or Netflix. And another banana bread, Tyler. So she's making the nanner. Nanner bread at work? Um, I mean, honestly. No qualms. No qualms. I picked her for neither. So. Yeah, she just didn't hit the hit the boxes. So do you know now which two, Tyler? Yeah, I do actually. Are you pleased? Actually, I am. I'm like, All right. Oh. So here we go now. One of the two that Tyler, Tyler chose 
for bio. He's getting a little anxious over there. Tyler Cho is for the bio and the looks here. We have Miss Grain her, herself. She's an RN. 5'4", active Virgo. She's a Christian. Looking for something casual and wants kids someday. I can see why the plankton attacked her there, Tyler. <laughs> They weren't looking for bikini bottom, if I tell you that. They were looking for bikini top. <laughs> this pick is a... W <laughs> that's good. I don't care what you say. That's good. That's good. But this picture, Tyler, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Like, looks like she's in, like, a nice outfit. But then she's got, like, a, a night shawl over top. And then it looks like sunrise. And she's got a mimosa. Like, that. that's an early start to the day. But neither here nor there. A few more picks. She does have the dog. Doggo. Nice little selfie. Oh, hazel eyes. Uh, I'd say I'd lean more towards brown. Yeah, brown. Definitely. <laughs> I wasn't really looking at her eyes, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> Vino is starting to slap over there down in Tampa. And here we go, last but not least, with the bikini pick. <laughs> Hey, girl, you're supposed to buy a top that fits, you know? <laughs> <laughs> if, that, if, if you guys end up together, do you care if she wears that out in public? You want her to show off the goods and be like, be naked, look what I, I got. Care, baby. Exactly. It's like she, as long as she's coming home to daddy, right? <laughs> no. That's all that matters. So there's number one. Now the second winner, Tyler. Okay. Miss uh, Triple Fist here. We got the consultant. She's 5'5", five five, never smokes, drinks socially. She's a Libra. This was, we'll get along if you like going to the gym and getting a drink immediately after. I think we have her on the left here. Not a bad picture. Uh, more beer. Looks like more drinking than working out, Tyler. I'm not sure what you think about that. But she also just wants to be by the water. The beach, the river, she doesn't care. Um, ideal night out until the sun comes up, and I would probably have to say hands up. This might be your best picture. Hey. No nanner bread, but she's got the nanner yeah, dress. I was about to say, oh! I was about to say. <laughs> Wait, she's not the one that made nanner bread, but there's a lot of bananas going on right now. She like herself a little nanner. A um, couple more picks. You pleased with this one as well, Tyler, or what? I mean, I'm very happy with the choices that are being made. Well, oh, one and eight, that's tough, man. Now, here we go, Tyler. I mean, the last two weeks have, bo have been both blondes. This week, I I mean, it's inevident that it's going to be a brunette. Um, Inevitable. Can I, get the, can I get the bikini picture, though? <laughs> no. <laughs> Stop it, you savage. No, no, no. I want the I want the banana picture for the girl on the left, and I want the bikini picture for oh the girl on the right. Oh my god! It's only right. Give them their best. This hey. guy is an absolute savage. <clears throat> All right, so here we go. These are the final two contestants that Tyler picked for both looks. And for their bios, their interests. And he has requested, as the committee wasn't too keen on using his favorite pictures, I guess we're just making up new rules here on the fly. You know what he's saying? You know what he's saying? Is this girl's body hot enough to overcome the other girl's looks? AC Weezy. Totally defeating the purpose. Yes, Tyler. And the committee. The beautiful committee, that is. I've come to my conclusion. We have a conclusion. Drum roll. Give me the girl with the banana bread that doesn't make banana bread. Winner alert, winner alert. Let me, let me tell you why, folks, ladies and gentlemen at home. I like the way she looks, but I like the way that she parties. She's going to be, she's got the mm. same stamina as your boy, your man goddamn. Your guy can stay up all night. You find him at Mons Venus at 5 a.m. He's still up. I need a girl that can be up with me. I like I'll tell it. you what, ladies and gentlemen. He'd be, 
going out, triple fisting. I'll give her something to triple fist about. Homeboy's putting up more rounds than Tiger Woods on the Masters. I think that was a good choice. I think I, I made an excellent What do we think, decision. chat? Do we excellent. think he made a good choice? Clan of the Duck. I've seen this man crawl out of the trunk of a car during the late hours of the night. <laughs> like a fucking, in a horror movie when the dead come alive and you just see their hands coming out of the ground. Nate says boo. Okay, so we have one good choice, one boo from Nasties. Um, do you want my input, Tyler? Yes, I do. I think you made a good choice. Thank I you. I do. I really do. That means hold, a lot. But hold on, hold on, ladies and hold, hold, hold the phones, oh. La ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. If I'm not motherfucking your boy, you're soy, you see, aka Doctor Love. And this ain't a motherfucking Bumble Bachelor on Thirsty Thursday. Then you know there's gotta be a twist. You know there had to be, I oh, had I to have on my camera. something on my 42 regular slim fit sleeve. Fucked up my camera. <laughs> no big deal. So I got, I got to stop sharing screen with you real quick. <clears throat> we, got, we got ourselves a twist, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Last week we tried a twist. It did not work out too well. Tyler said I was too I was too happy. I was too content with the winner that I chose tonight. I'm gonna throw him another curveball. I have two contestants. <clears throat> oh shit! Two secret contestants. I'm gonna show Tyler both of their first profile pictures. And he's going to be able to stare at them the whole time. And while he's staring at their profile pictures, I'm going to read both their bios. <clears throat> but here's the catch, ladies and gentlemen. He's not going to know which bio goes with which face. <laughs> he's, got, he's got to make the choice. If the face is worth maybe getting the worst bio, or if both bios are good enough, or if overall he thinks either of these contestants are better than the, ones, the one that he chose previously. So here we go. I'm gonna have to work on my both other screens. I'm intrigued right now. I think I had, I think I'm onto something right here. And the viewers at home are gonna see just the two profile pics. Um, so here we go, Tyler. I'm gonna sh go back to sharing screen with you. Actually, hold on. I want to. I won't get his reaction when I when I switch screens. So I'm gonna go full gameplay, <clears throat> and then I'm gonna go start sharing. So here we go. <laughs> <laughs> We got our two mystery contestants here. <laughs> Take a drink or something. I think you gotta pass I out. I don't have anything, bro. Like, everything's got. <laughs> what do you think? Do you have a favorite off the bat? I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> Who do you like? I'm gonna I'm gonna let the viewers decide on this one. All right, I th I think I know which one he would like. Clan of the Duck says one on the left. All right. It depends de depends what type of guy you're into. Obviously, both attractive attractive women. So now the viewers at home can see what Tyler's looking at on my other screen. I'm going to read the bios. Holy moly, Tyler! Oh mother fricker. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't leak anything. Um, the first contestant. Make sure I'm doing this right. 
<laughs> white, white dress, black dress, tan skin, tan skin, brunette, kind um, of amber almost. Nasty's set putting up like a. It looks like a face that like he's in pla- in pain. I don't know if his shoulder's bothering him, but he just says the cake. Um, TGR003 is saying on the right with just the cake as well. And Duck is saying he thinks you like the one on the right as well. Um, so here we go. The first contestant, 5-4, works out sometimes. Um, just has high school for graduation. So I don't know if she went to college or not. I don't know. Not going to specify. Never smokes. Likes cats. Looking for a relationship. Wants kids someday. Moderate political views. Uh, other for religion. Registered voter. But she's a cancer. <laughs> All right, now let's see if Tyler sticks to his word. We got a couple pictures over here. If I could guest star on a show, it'd be on Cash Cat. Must see movie Step Brothers. All right. So that was the first contestant. Now, oh, not that. Come on. Bro, what the fuck? Oh, no, I exited out. God damn it. Hold on. I'm throwing. God damn it. I'm just too many screens. <laughs> oh, don't look for a second. I'm trusting you. Hey. I'm not looking. I'm legally blind. Okay, you're good. Okay. Um, so that was the first contestant. <laughs> now for the second contestant. Let me switch the chat back over. There we go. Second contestant. University of New Hampshire. Also 5'4". She is also active. She is currently in college. Drinks socially. Looking for a relationship. And a Libra. But, oh, Tyler. Hold your horses here. My dream dinner guest is... Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Favorite quality in a person? <laughs> loyalty. And we got a couple other picks. So now, Tyler... You have a cancer on one side and a Tom Brady dinner guest on the other. <laughs> I gotta know though, which which are you feeling more from the from the the looks wise? I mean if I had to be honest, I'd have to go with the girl on the right for sure, okay. looks wise. But that doesn't discount the girl on the left, because I do be liking black on girls. I don't know if that's more of a dark burgundy, a maroon, if you will. But is it? I can't tell on my screen. Yeah, I I don't think that's that's sheer black. So now, Tyler, the question is for you. Which one do you do you do you have one just looking at him that you think is the is the cancer? <laughs> <laughs> and does it matter? It doesn't matter. I mean, so you to me, it doesn't matter okay. at this point. I mean, oh, golly. And also, in turn, is whoever you choose from this better than the your previous winner that you chose? I guess we'll find out. I'm going full send on this one. Give me the cancer and the right. Well, you don't know that she's the cancer. Well, I know, but like still. I'm trying to match bios and pictures. <laughs> so, you, so you're going to choose the one on the right over the one on the left and the previous winner. Right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the choice has been made. Let's see if he made a good one or not. Let me see here. Go back to full camera. I'm deceased. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, 
All right, pulling it up here. Contestant number one, Tyler, Chat. Wait, hold on. Let me let me get the let me get the jazz back going. Let me get the jazz back going. Yeah, that's what we need. That's what we need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, little, a little more of that. A little more of that. Now, your new winner. Hey. I guess I left that curveball hanging up a little bit, Tyler. Bah! How's that? How's sent that it out the park. Go? Much better. This is much, <laughs> much better. All right. He wasn't feeling the the Nana dress. Maybe Nana bread. Uh, Tyler, this is the cancer. So you might. I mean, you guys may have a crazy few weeks, but I don't know if this is long term. You're gonna have to deal with that. She likes cats. She likes the beach. If she could star, if she could guest star on a show, it'd be on Cash Cab. Must see about, movies, Step Brothers. How about a different show? Fake Taxi. Oh, you <laughs> son of a bitch. Took too long, bitch. So this is what I don't understand. She says she likes cats, but she's got a dog. Hmm? I don't even care at this point. Um, yeah, she, I mean, she, she, you know, she's, uh... I don't know oh. if she's flexing, she's doing at-home workouts. But shit, with that being said, Tyler, this is your winner week number five. How do you feel? Uh, incredible. That's all I have to say. <laughs> as long, I, I was really hoping that she wasn't the one that wanted Tom Brady as her dinner date, like everybody other, every other chick. Um, brown hair, blue eyes, oof, killer combo. Husky, killer combo. Killer trio, I should say. So, Ky um, tell her, you'd rather have someone be a Virgo, or a, not a Zodiac a sign, a Cancer, a Zodiac sign that you were known to not be compatible with than want to be going on a dinner date with Tom Brady? Well, let me tell you this, Austin. I feel like, you know, Zodiac signs can only go so far. You can't label them as a Zodiac until you actually meet them and fit them to that stereotype. So, you can't really... You can't really, you know, negate them because of their zodiac. I've I've been learning. I've been learning about myself. So. All right. I like that. Have I well, been learning, or am I learning right now? <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what. That's why I feel like she, you know, if you're trying to learn, she could teach you a thing or two. But chat, ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Did Tyler make the right choice? Because we now have week number five's winner. Let's see if I can't line them all up. This is going to get harder and harder and harder as the weeks go on. It's the final countdown. Na, 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 let, me get, na, na. let me guess, that's by Queen 2? That chick probably thinks. Uh, can we get like a better picture for all these? Their best picture. I want their best picture. Oh my god. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, the committee's putting their foot down. I'm just clicking on the first picture. I'm not fucking running circles Ooh. all day. The hoop. The hoop with the blonde eyes. Oof. Hoop with the blonde eyes? This is just getting harder and harder, Tyler. I've never been to New Hampshire, but I'm a finna go. <gasps> God damn it. Sorry, the, the committee is moving as fast as they can. <laughs> Wait, motherfucker. It's not enough room, Tyler. <laughs> you need to start cropping. Oh, 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 oh. oh. I must say that last chick has major Rachel Bush vibes. <laughs> you can say that again. Oh, how do we do this? God damn it. Here we go. This is good enough. This is good enough. Right? Yes, of course. All right. Chat, here we go. <laughs> I somehow compiled all of the winners together. Can I get a can I get a fucking 
clap, easy claps in the chat from the committee one time. Golly. So we got all of our all of our winners. Number one right here, week one right here, week two, week three, week four, and now kind of towards the bottom there, week five. <clears throat> Hard to miss. Week five. Tyler, what, what, what do you guys say? I mean, do you have a favorite, a new favorite? I'm leaving my favorites up to uh, the finale. But let's just say it keeps getting harder and harder to decide between the five now. Um, but better, 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 and better. Every single week. So Tyler, when you say better, 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 is this solely on the looks? Do you remember what uh, week one's bio is? Honestly, no. Um, <laughs> you guys could be soulmates. We could be soulmates, but that's what the finale's for. I will tell you that. Each week, we're gonna continue this train. We're gonna keep going, figure out who the soulmate really is. But right now, I mean, I'm looking at five women that <laughs> could take the cake. They're looking straight into my soul right now. And I'm loving every second of it. Yeah, they're that. Well, now I look. I made eye contact with each and every one of them at the same time, <laughs> simultaneously. Like, boom, 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 boom. And I'm just like, boom, boom, boom. I feel like my fucking spirit is just gonna come out of my body, and someone's gonna suck it up. But all right, there you go. That's the that's the winner for week five. Listen, we had again. I love the chat engagement. Clan of the Duck nasties. TGR. 003, not to get confused with 007. Axeen was in here. Dan was in here. Coca-Cola. Chicken and waffles with the sub. If you're still here, appreciate it. Liani, Mark stopped by. Listen, love the chat engagement. You know, the one week Tyler... Tyler was torn between two contestants. We had to turn to the chat and, you know, ask the viewers at home... Who they decided with, but... It might have to be the finale week, too. Listen, it's definitely not going to be easy. I'll tell you that much. Because, the you know, this is the best of the best right here. And deciding on them, we're going to have to come up with a new dynamic. Which in, I, in French, I, they say the creme de la creme. All right, I like that. I like that. I have faith in the committee, Tyler, that they'll come up with something for the, for the finale. But yeah, with that being said, episode five, if you haven't seen the previous four episodes, they're on the Insane Games TV YouTube channel. If you like what you're seeing, hit that like button. I think it's like above right there, kind of. It's a little heart. Um, please click on that. You will get notified when we go live. Tyler and I, we're back As next Johnny week. Johnny Bravo says, hubba, hubba, da, hubba, da, hubba, da, hubba, <laughs> Oh, I think Tyler may need a glass of water or maybe a pillow or something, but... <laughs> This is it. End of the stream. Again, thank you. Until next time. Oh. oh. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> With that being said, listen, you don't got to go home, but you can't stay here. Until next time. Wheezy out. Love you.